right, so the story started here. I figured I would pick up Project Zomboid again. It's probably the most least played game on my Steam account right now. Reaching about 59 hours, and that was after making this video. And it's always been a game that I was really interested in. I just never really had the time to put into learning the game. So, with that being said, I had some free time. I was bored of playing Daisy and Tarkov. It was getting dry. So I figured, all right, let's crank open the uh, old Steam account and hop into some Project Zomboid. There was a recent update, supposedly one of the biggest updates for it. So let's see what's going on. A buddy of mine recommended that I should use these mods here, which I'll show on the screen now. I headed over to the Steam Workshop, downloaded all the uh, mods that I needed, and I started up a brand new playthrough. I ended up doing like a hardcore winter survival playthrough, which you'll see throughout the gameplay. It was only right with me being a complete noob to head over to Google and see exactly what occupation and trade I was going to go with, what would best fit my needs in this game, which ended up being burglar. You see, the main reason I chose the occupation burglar was because I could get around a lot more sneakier. I could hotwire vehicles, which was going to be a very important thing for me to be able to get around from town A to town B at the quickest speed possible. Not only that, the burglar has a better chance, a better rate at getting through locked windows, which if you're another occupation, you can get caulked a lot when trying to get through these house windows. It can be a real pain. But with that being said, we were off end of the world of Project Zomboid. I didn't know the name of any of these towns, by the way, as you can tell, I have no idea where the hell I'm at. But with that being said, I continue the journey. I end up finding a gas canister next to this gas station here, as you can see. And I start filling up the gas canister and I look over and I see this taxi cab. I ended up checking it out and seeing that it's in perfect condition, drivable condition. All it needs is a little bit of gas. So I pull it over to the pumps. I completely fill the tank up and we hit the road. We got a brand new car now. Well, not a brand new car. It's actually a piece of shit taxi cab, but it's going to work. We end up driving around for the next like 20, 30 minutes, just hitting up stores, looking for good loot, food, anything that we can use. Because at the end of the day, I want to make a base. And to do that, what do you need? Supplies, right? You need plywood, nails, hammers, screwdrivers, shit like that, right? So here I am for the next like 40 minutes, just going from house to house, shed to shed, looking for this shit, right? While at the same time, in the back of my head, I'm thinking, I don't even know how to make any of this shit. So I'm looking for stuff to make shit that I don't know how to make. So we have a problem there, right? But anyways, we'll think about that later. So I head off cruising around looking for a place that i can call home and here it is this abandoned i don't know what it is this a bar abandoned bar we'll call it that and i ended up looking at it and i say all right we're gonna call this home instead of making my own shit i'm just gonna take this shit over because i'm a lazy fuck right so by the time we find this place it's already like five days in project zomboid so it's time to start getting this place together i start barricading the joint up barricading the windows the uh doors i completely gut the place except for these shelves you see i guess you can't dismantle these shelves i don't know what's going on with them but i seem to not be able to figure it out so they're staying anyways by this time i start bringing all the stuff in from the trunk i mean the trunk in the back seat of this taxi cab is just full of shit supplies nails tools i got probably every tool in the game right now except for a goddamn sledgehammer, which seems impossible to find. But anyways, I'm bringing it all in here. And then by this time, I start to realize that the only way you can put a bed in your base is by crafting it. So that's going to be a problem. So it was time to head out and start finding all the stuff that we need to craft this mattress to get this place to start looking like home. I also needed to start stockpiling food to put in this place because I noticed it was starting to become an issue. We were eating it faster than we could stack it up. All right, so here we are. Fast forward it a little over two weeks now, and we find this brand new van that's in much better condition than that piece of shit taxi cab we had and can hold a lot more materials, supplies, it can pretty much hold anything we need. We still, unfortunately, have had no luck in finding the materials we need to craft our mattress. So we've been sleeping in our vehicle for the past, like, week. So I continue to search, looking for the stuff that I need to craft this mattress. And a couple other things that I need for the base as well. I haven't been at the base at this time for the past, like, three days. I keep running into issues, like hordes of zombies. I keep having to fight them off or just flee and come back and then try to loot the area again once the heat has calmed down and the zombies have left but still having no luck at all in finding the shit that i need 
Oddly enough, where this journey began, it pretty much ends back at this gas station. I have no idea how I ended up back here, but I ended up stopping to fill up the van with gas since we were right here. I had about a half a tank before we stopped. I figured we might as well just top it off while we're right here. So I proceed to do so. And while I'm sitting there filling up the van, I remember there's a neighborhood right around the corner that I haven't looted at all. It's a whole bunch of houses. I'll probably be able to find the pillows there that I've been looking for the past, I don't know, week. So once I topped her off, I hopped back in the van and we proceeded to head over to the houses. And well, how do I say? This is where shit hits the fan and everything goes wrong. And with that being said, I'll let it play out and let you guys watch how this journey came to an end for me. Fuck, man. No! I'm dead. Dead. You got me. Fuck. Our time has come. <sighs> you motherfuckers. Where's our gun? You motherfuckers. <laughs> Bitch motherfucker. Ah. Uh. Too many. This is it for me. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Well, there you guys go. You've seen it here first. I made it 22 days in Project Zomboid. And my demise was looking for shit to craft a mattress. Nah, but for real. 
honestly, I would say Project Zomboid is probably one of the best survival games out in the market to this day. You can do so much, it's so in depth, and let's be honest, there's a lot more you can do that I did not even show in this video. But if you made it this far, please do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot, and most important, it's free. Do your boy a favor and click that sub button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.